Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Fallout 4. We are in Sanctuary today, and we are going to do a little work on our greenhouse. Yes, I built a greenhouse. It looks awesome. So we are going to reconfigure this place and reconfigure all of those planters out there with these brand new, slightly smaller, slightly more productive planters that snap to tabletops. We're going to get Sanctuary producing the amount of food we need it to produce so that we can finally start worrying about other things in this game. So I get two mute fruit with every scrapping, which means I'm not going to get as many, but the final product... Oh, I need fertilizer is what I'm missing. Alright, well I guess we're going to have to find some fertilizer then. Let's see, we need the uh, roadside plants have fertilizer, don't they? Okay, compost is not fertilizer, that's annoying. Let's see. Yes, that roadside grass is what we need for the job. So we'll just make our way along here. We'll clean all this up. All the little blobs of grass here. And... There's some more. That's a nice big batch of fertilizer. we should also have a look at this compost bin. I don't know exactly what it does, but it'll probably be worth examining later. All right, so we got 12 fertilizer, 25 mute fruits. We're also going to store all of those other plants. I want as few of these being used as possible. Come on, go away. All right, that takes care of that. Now let's get ourselves some small planters on these tables. I'll be adding more rows to the center of the greenhouse later, but for now, One, doom. The game's a little twitchy right now. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just because of the way I'm building right now. Okay, that's 11 food being produced here now. And of course, somebody's not working all of these yet. But that'll change shortly. There must be a way to turn compost into fertilizer. Just get rid of all these. We want... oh boy. There we go. Excellent. Okay, now the focus should be on the greenhouse here. So you get your food production. All right. So we just need to figure out how to actually make more fertilizer. Because that's what we're short on, not the mute fruit itself. But we need a lot of fertilizer to get uh, food production amped up another notch. 
I suppose we could let's build that compost bin just to see what happens or see if anybody can be assigned to it would be also a thing to look into. Maybe making compost is just a thing that uh, happens. Well, I mean, compost, converting compost to fertilizer is... Oh, hello, yes. It is... Let's just get off of this thing. This is how we make fertilizer. We need a whole bunch of different kinds of compost to make this happen. And yes, yeah, so to make... I see, I see. So to make fertilizer, we need the three different kinds of compost. We need alkali and brown is what we're short on. We just have lots of green compost. So books can make... We can make the overdue books into brown compost. The foods all become various green composts. Newspapers become brown. And... Wood can become... Can make wood into brown compost. We don't know what it takes to make alkali, which is unfortunate. So we can't make fertilizer without knowing what it will take to make those uh, alkali items. So the only other solution will be to find more. Now more little grass patches to clean up here along the road. There we go. Come on. Well, at least we're getting some fertilizer out of this. Wow, we've really kind of wiped out the uh, compost potential here, haven't we? Alright, well, we'll get a couple more of them started, and I guess figuring out where compost is going to come from in the future is, another th is something we'll have to sort out later. In the meantime, we will get a few more uh, mute fruit planters here. Because Sanctuary is Mute Fruit Production Central. That's my priority here. There we go. I'm just waiting for our farmers to actually find the food. I might have to find out who's not assigned anything. Okay, you're making food. Now, who else was assigned to food production? You were. We'll just run you in here to get you started then. And hopefully she'll start finding some more of these. Come on, you people got to find your way in here. I mean, seriously, come on. There we are, 15 being produced now. Let's see, we had... Well, you're not doing anything, but I think I might need you for something else. We just need our... That's trash can Carla, isn't it? Yeah, that must be Carla. Murphy... Yeah. Is everybody going to stand around here being confused because they don't know how to access this greenhouse? That would suck a bit if they did. Especially because it's such a nice looking greenhouse. I mean, seriously, look at this place. Yeah. 
There we go. Nice. Power up to 19 food being produced here. Those are all active. We're still missing two here, aren't we? Or they're not showing up as being properly farmed. I'm not sure which at this stage. <sighs> what I do know is that I need to track down fertilizer. Except for a few things here, apparently. Uh, that's okay. So you, I think what we're going to get you to do, we're going to move you to Sunshine Tidings, and then... Actually, no. We'll just leave you where you are right now. You can just stay here. Okay, well, with 19 Mute Fruit being produced here, that's enough to really overproduce. I'll have to find out where Alkali Compost comes from, but in the meantime, I think we should get another bit of water production going here to try and up our fresh water supply. So you can make Tier 2, Mark 2, but not Mark 3 water pumps here. Being these are intended to supply the whole uh, network, I think uh, Sanctuary is going to become a pretty significant water supplier. Just rotate that a little, there we go. Go. Now for power. Mark to Jenny. There we go. There we go. There's number two. Excellent. 21 food, 21 water. That person is actually going to get assigned the mystery person over here. Where is he? He's going to get assigned to defense. Because we've actually got a fairly high... Um, risk of bad things happening. And then we'll go grab our motorbike and we'll ride on down to... Um, Yeah, here we go. All right. We're going to make our way to um, Covenant now via our motorcycle. Hello, guys. All of our settlers are out and about. And hopefully Covenant will have them heroes. I actually managed to get the... Uh, finally got the uh, linked Covenant going. Also got 10 pines going, and we had two random people show up at Sunshine Tidings, even though I haven't put a radio there. So that's rather cool. All right, on to our motorcycle. Now, the eventual plan here is to start manufacturing ammunition. But I need to get some basic resource acquisition going here. And one of the really big things I want to do is I want to get a whole bunch of people going on salvage stations, which I'm going to set up first set of those in Covenant because, well, Covenant is got a whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of people who are completely unwilling to leave. So let's fix that. Now I'm thinking Covenant has got some design flaws in terms of its defenses. Although, yeah, I think it, the design flaw is primarily Come on, you let me. This place seems to be doing all right on its own. Makes you wonder what kind of deals they've made. Well, let's. Come on, I just want to select these turrets and get rid of them.
Yeah, we got an ownership problem with these turrets, that's for sure. Because they're not counting against the defense of this place. Why do I have a feeling it's going to make them very upset with me if I destroy them, too? Well, let's see what happens if I build a regular turret here. And just put it right there for now and see what happens. As long as they don't, the other turrets don't attack, we should be fine. Whoops. Alright. We'll get a couple of extra turrets at the front doors here. They're going to act as kind of backup defenses here. Alright, me not being able to open these doors when I'm in construction mode is a little irritating. There we go. Okay. Now then, let's deal with the... Um, elephant in the room. Seem to be doing okay for food and water here. Now, I think I might have accidentally overwritten something because these seem to be producing more than they should be. Or it's it could be hard, you know, it could be hard coded. They might have actually hard coded that because these aren't actually crops that I originally created. I think we'll just leave the food alone here. Garden plot, snap and build, configurators. Let's get a motorcycle. That's our rapid departure motorcycle. Right. Well, we'll just park it up here by the... Uh... And we also need to lay out a welcome mat, because I do not want to arrive outside of the... Uh... Outside the wall if I'm coming here to defend the place. There we go. And then we need to get some people to work here on salvage. So I'm quite sure we have a few people who could use a little bit of activity. And you're making food. I'm quite sure there's more people assigned to food production than is necessary. Penny. Orden can uh, start working. Oh, come on. Okay, apparently I can't assign him. Can I assign her? No. A little bit of dead weight here. It's mildly annoying. How about this guy? You're going to just sit around and do nothing? You are. Okay. Ted Huntley, at least I can assign you. How about how about uh, Deezer? Nope. No luck with Deezer either. Okay. So half the people here are actually not assignable to anything useful. Dr. Patricia, that's fine. Wow. Nearly half the people here are completely unwilling to do anything useful. Alright. Well, that's annoying. I was hoping they'd be a little bit more useful than that. Okay, come on. You. Magpie is a symbol. That's kind of awesome. Okay. Now, as long as there's still enough people producing food, which there are not, I don't know. This place is a little bit screwy, honestly. <sighs> I think... Oh, 
let's see what we can do here. Well, defenses are okay now. People assignments are okay. You're getting food from outside, so that's okay. That's why the food numbers are okay. I could probably contemplate starting to get a radio tower up here, but I think we'll worry about um, something we have a little bit more control over first. Rotten landfill. Technically have two people living at Starlight, but uh, and three people at Ten Pines. See, I could turn Starlight into a mine, um, a mining center now. Or, sorry, a uh, farm, potentially. Two fuel remaining, we'll get to Starlight, we'll get a radio set up, and we'll start thinking about how we want to uh, organize this one. It Starlight has the issue of poor defensibility, which is something worth considering. Granted, most of the settlements do. The ones that are good, easy to defend are actually the rarity, not the uh, the exception, not the rule. So I've got, yes, sunlight. Yeah, starlight here, and then I've got the uh, sunrise tidings co-op. And I do have that little station. I just don't want to hook it up to the uh, main network until I can get my hands on um, Grey Garden. Grey Garden's going to be a hard one to get my to get up and running. Well, first things first. For this one, we're going to set up our arrival point. Uh-oh. That must be over there. Come on. Oh, it was a minute, man. Nice. You still hunting something? Where you off to, bro? Random Minuteman. Don't know where he's going, but... Oh, there's two more of them. That was kind of funny. I guess we've got Minuteman patrols in the neighborhood. Useful. Well, that's a downed... Downed Minuteman, which is too bad. right close to base, so we'll just take off some of this stuff here. A farmer. Huh. Interesting. Whoops. Yeah, it didn't work out so well for him, did it? I wonder what the story is behind that particular little uh, goofiness. Alright, well, I think what we do is we get a Jenny and a... Oh, hello. We've got a resident, don't we? I suppose we just start putting together our... Eventually, our corn crops here, but to start, I think we just get some defenses in place. All right, lots of compost. No, 
not a lot of other stuff right now. What we really need is grass salvage. That's a trader, I guess. Well, let's start with power. Get a very basic Jenny going here. And get that up to a radio. Let's get this set up. There we go. One radio tower. There we go. Settlement recruitment beacon online. And see, we're doing okay on water because... This produces 10 water placed in dirt, so we could actually extract water from the soil here. Huh, look at that, we can do that. Requires four energy, though. We'll just give this a little self-sufficiency as far as um, water goes. There we go. Hey. Whoa, do it. Let's do this. Dang things. All right, well, at least they got him. Where is it? Bloatfly? Come on. There it is. You're a farmer, but apparently you're not part of this uh, settlement. Or maybe you are. I don't know. Let's see what we got in the way of uh, ability to make planters here. And really, the ability to make the planters that matter here. Hmm, my game's just a little sluggish today. So, yeah. So we need to get our hands on a lot more fertilizer to get ourselves up and running here. But we can, what we can do is get a defense line up. And we can make some more beds. And we can call it an episode from here. So I'd originally planned on getting a factory set up this episode, but it looks like getting the basics of uh, the game up and running here is going to be more important to start. You... You. Come on. Alright. Got it. Resource assigned. Got a little defense. Back you up with a turret. And all will be well with the world. There we go. And a bed. Where to put a bed for now? We're just going to tuck you in under here. Just make some more room under there. It's not ideal, but for the time being, it will have to do. All right, I got some work to do off camera to get myself some fertilizer or compost or something and hopefully in the next episode we can actually maybe even build a fa build a little ammo, ammo factory which is what I want to do so that I can start thinking about using some different weapons 
Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye for now.